This is the UTG Ambidextrous Belt Holster. I bought this on Amazon for about $10, and I thought that was a great deal. And it came in this rather uh, uninspiring uh, packaging, just a plastic pouch and a cardboard label. No instructions, but it does have a diagram to tell you what the different parts of the holster are. Fortunately, I've owned a number of these budget holsters, uh, different kinds in the past, and they're somewhat similar. This one is an ambidextrous one, which means that you can place it on your belt on either your left or right hip, depending on your handedness or if you like to do a cross draw. Um, or you could potentially put this uh, as a, on a lateral draw, um, wearing this in front of your plate carrier. You could s slip in some molly straps here and secure it to your plate carrier. So it has um, those options. And it's easy to get your belt into either of these belt loops. You just uh, release these uh, securing flaps and you pull up your primary belt loop flap and you just run your belt through there, cover it over, and then secure it down. And um, you, that's how you get it on, onto your belt. And it has one on either side. So again, depending on whether you prefer it on your right or left hip. Now this is a utilitarian service holster. It's not a concealed carry holster. Um, I, I suppose you could, uh, but I would not recommend this for a concealed carry holster. It's much too bulky. And there's got these flaps and things are just gonna wear into you if you're gonna be trying to wear this inside of a pair of pants or whatever. So not a good concealed carry holster by any means. And this is not a high speed, low drag, super tactical holster. For those combat holsters, definitely save your money, um, buy a nice Kydex holster or what have you. It's gonna cost you $100, but uh, if, if that's what you're looking for, this is not it. This is a super budget holster, but even though it's only it's only that, I'd say I'm rather impressed. It's The construction looks really good. The, the materials, um, the side of uh, the holster are quite well padded and stiff. Uh, you want a stiff holster, especially around the mouth uh, of uh, your holster, because, um, let me just open this up, you want this the uh, opening to be very stiff, especially around here where the trigger, around where the trigger, because you don't want any material to be soft and flappy that might accidentally catch on your trigger as you're holstering your weapon and you might get an accidental discharge. But these are these are very firm, so that's great. And um, as you saw here, it has a two-part retention system, the primary being a rivet, which is very old school but very good because rivets are almost impossible to release laterally. So your pistol is very secure. Uh, all you need to do is pop it open, which doesn't require a lot of force, but pulling it laterally, it's nearly impossible. And you have the extra added security of a Velcro strap over your rivet strap. So that's gonna keep your pistol very secure. Um, though if you wanted to, if you were say doing action shooting and you needed a uh, somewhat faster draw, you could just use your Velcro strap if uh, you're in that sort of situation. But again, for the best security, use the rivet and the Velcro strap. And this can be swapped for either side, depending again on your handedness. It's just uh, held in with uh, Velcro and there is a stiff plastic um, panel here uh, to keep uh, your um, rivet strap in place. And you can just swap, again, swap these out to either side depending on uh, how you want to set up your holster. And I, one other thing I like about this is that it has a built-in integral spare mag pouch, which is actually rather convenient. Now, it looks a little small, but from my experience, you I've managed to get a double stack um, M92 uh, Beretta holster um, uh, magazine into this pouch. Uh, as well as a Glock 17, and we'll take a look at uh, a Glock 17 mag a little later. But uh, it's a little hard to get in there. It's it's definitely tight, but you know then you also know it's very secure. Definitely not a quick draw type of of uh, mag pouch, but 
very secure, and that's something you you want in this kind of setup. Uh, more security rather than than fast draw, and this is good if you're going to keep um, a a home defense pistol. You want to have a, a holster even for your for your bed stand uh, weapon because at some point you're going to want to need to put your your phone down, whether it's to to use your phone to call 911 or what have you. Um, you you need a place to to holster your weapon, and having a spare mag along with just makes it much more compact and one unit. You don't have to necessarily grab your battle belt, your spare mags. You at least have one spare mag. You have a, your ready mag and your pistol, and you're good to go. All right. So um, again, let's see. Single single seam. It is reinforced along the belt loop, so that, that's nice. Um, Eh, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not bad. I mean, this is bad uh, fit and finish here for, to, to leave this spare thread out, but it's not coming loose. And um, you, so this is a single single stitch is what you'd expect from a, a budget holster. Oh, wait, hold on, um, that's not exactly correct. There is a uh, second stitch here, reinforcement along this edge. So that is nice, actually, because you want that extra reinforcement on this part of the holster, because as you're putting your weapon in, you're going to be putting stresses along this side and the bottom side as you're pushing your weapon into to a secure fit. So it's nice that they actually added extra reinforcement. Good on you, U2G. Hey, not bad for $10. Anyway, so let's see how well this fits. Um, the Walther P22 as well as other weapons, but before I do, I'm just going to ask you a quick favor. Please hit pause and hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps um, encourage me to do more videos like this and supports the channel. So let's see how this fits various pistols, and we're going to start with a Walther P22, which is a fairly compact pistol at about four inches high and six inches long. And I just want to point out that this and all the other pistols that we will be testing the holster with have been cleared and made safe. So, let's see how well it fits. Now, I originally purchased this uh, holster for this pistol specifically because I needed a secure way for my wife to uh, wear it as a secondary firearm. And if I adjusted the straps correctly, yep, just the right height. And there's a, a good, say, two inches or an inch and a half, say, yeah, about an inch and a quarter of uh, of space at the bottom of the holster, and it holds it very securely. And let's see how well these mags fit. And I'm sure they they will. These are fairly small, thin mags, single stack. And there you go. So yes, this does fit a Walther P22, and I like to point out that yes, this did have a weapon light on it. And as we can see, it's a. Uh, oh, there we go. It is a uh, Claris GL1, which I reviewed recently, and I'll include a link in the description below to that review. But even with a uh, compact weapon light, this holster fits quite well. All right. All right. Next up, we have a Glock 17, which is one of the most popular handguns in America. So let's see. Will this fit the most popular handgun in America? And yes, it does. Now I didn't adjust the straps. Oh, but looks like I didn't even have to. And oh, there. Let's remove that Walther mag and replace it with a Glock mag and see if that fits, because this is a much fatter mag, and it is a little bit of work to get this in there. Let's see if I can get it down a little further. I'm sure if you use this often enough, it will form to the shape of the magazine, but yes, it does fit a Glock magazine, and it is quite secure. And there is oh, about a quarter inch, half an inch of space at the bottom, so it's still covered. Though um, you don't necessarily want to drop this, but that's the reason why you have a holster, so you never have to worry about your pistol dropping. 
So let's see how well this fits a 1911. Now this is a Colt 1911 with a 22 target slide uh, added to it, but it does have the same physical dimensions as a government model uh, slide. So let's see how well it fits. All right, and I might have to adjust, well, hold on. Um, most folks like to have their 1911s um, with a hammer back in for ready since this is a single action pistol and I might have to adjust the strap slightly oh no actually not too bad I, I'm probably have to adjust the angle a bit on That's better. Yeah. There you go. Locked and ready. Oh, but here's the problem. Full-sized 1911 is way too long for this holster. Um, the front of the barrel sticks out and I'd be concerned about uh, any damage to the crown or even the front sight uh, with having the slide stick out so much. So no on a full-sized government model. But if you had a commander or a officer-sized um, 1911 pistol, then yeah, okay, this would work. So again, not for the government model, but fine for uh, the officer and commander-sized, or if you had a even smaller one. And yeah, of course, it fits uh, the magazine since it is such a thin single-stack magazine. And let's just see for if this fits an extended 10 round, I doubt it. Yeah, I mean, I suppose you could. You, I'm, I suppose you could add a, an extended Velcro strap to get it around, but uh, I wasn't really expecting it to fit the 10 rounder. Um, but again, perfectly fine for a standard seven or eight round magazine. And um, if you have a shorter slide. And finally, how well does it fit a traditional wheel gun? Well, I'm sure it, it very likely will since this has plenty of room and this wheel gun is much more svelte than any of my semi-auto pistols, save for the Walther, of course, since it's a 22. In fact, I'm gonna have to cinch this down quite a bit. Um, Let's clip that in and just push it down to get that in position. Oops. This goes down first and then retaining wing straps. Oh. Yeah, plenty of room in there. Oh, but here's again, like the 1911 is the problem. This is a uh, four inch barrel. I think, I think it is, hold on. Let me just double check here. Um, well, it is, yeah, it is a four inch barrel, so it is far too long just because of the way that uh, the pistol sinks far deeper into the holster, or it can, than uh, any of the, of the other pistols. So this revolver sinks quite a bit in. So there's another uh, issue you might have uh, for using this as a uh, your primary holster for a revolver. The, um, the body sits in quite low on this particular holster and dangerously um, you're too short for this particular barrel. Uh, I'd be worried about damaging the crown and the front sight. So not a good holster for this revolver. So I just wanted to show you how high this rides on your hip and everybody's hips and bodies are different and as you can tell from my dad bod uh, this pistol rides uh, about three inches above my belt line and also people like to carry their belts slightly differently some like to have it right on top of uh, the their hip bone i like to have my belt on in the saddle uh, just below the top of my hip bone so you know where you're going to be putting your belts uh, going to be different but it's still a very usable and um, accessible height for me. So, what did I think of the UTG ambidextrous 
universal holster. They really need to come up with a better name for it. Uh, though I suppose since I got it as a utilitarian holster, that is appropriately named. Um, well, I got it for a specific purpose and um, it really does work. Uh, it fits a compact pistol quite well and has uh, the ability to work with a lot of my other pistols. So for $10, I have to say I haven't purchased many firearms accessories for $10 that worked as well or were as well made as this. So yeah, I can definitely recommend this. And if you're interested in picking one up yourself, I'll include a link in the description below so you can get it. Thanks for watching. Oh, and if you enjoyed watching this, please, please hit the like button and subscribe because it really encourages me to make more videos. Anyway, thanks for watching again. Moondog, out.